Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I'm going to be testing out the Tesla Pack Monitor. So if you have a Tesla and you just wanna check out the battery that's in your car, there's already a lot of good ways of doing that. For example, you can use a Bluetooth dongle, connect to the car, and use the Scan My Tesla app. But what if you have a battery that's not in your car? For example, this one right here. Or let's say uh, you want to buy a battery pack to use in an EV conversion or something like that. Uh, maybe you're at a junkyard and you don't have the car connected to the battery to be able to talk to it, see what the state of health is, that sort of thing. And that's exactly what the Tesla pack monitor is for. Uh, you might remember a little while back, I tried out this device, the TBMM. Neat little doohickey, lets you connect to one cell module, one hunk of the battery uh, at a time. But to do that, you have to have not only the battery out of the car, but also the lid off and take it apart to get to individual modules. The whole idea with the Tesla pack monitor is it lets you do the entire pack at once without a car, without having to take off the lid, just connecting to the low voltage rapid mate uh, connection that's already on the car. So first of all, this comes in a nice little travel case. Let's pop it open. And inside we've got a power cord and a data cord. I'll just get the data cord out of the way for the moment. And then the power cord, I've just got going to a little, you know, one of those little five volt USB charge pack doohickeys. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is spin this around so the display is out of the sun so we can see it a little bit better. It's just a very bright day and I want, the, want this to show up on camera. And then this is uh, plugging in uh, at that low voltage port. Then of course there's the high voltage uh, rapid mate and the low voltage rapid mate, which actually has two different connectors in it. And so this is set up to go to the one connector. You can't accidentally put it in the wrong way or the wrong one because those uh, two connectors are different. So it's not gonna fit that one. And this is uh, the connector for the classic S or X. I'll just push that in there. And we'll give it a few seconds, see what happens. We can see that it's uh, communicating with the BMS. A little BMS beach ball spinning. And we've got some information here. Serial number, manufacturer date, pack voltage, state of charge is at 84%. Uh, lowest and highest voltage bricks. Uh, the spread of voltage over the entire pack in millivolts, six millivolts, which that seems decent to me. I mean, over an entire pack, an individual uh, cell block, highest to lowest, six millivolts. Temperature, uh, total charge and discharge. That's kind of cool to know. Uh, the nominal pack voltage or uh, pack uh, capacity in kilowatt hours, 68, which is, it's, I mean, that's kind of low because this is supposed to be an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack. So that's like 19% below, but it's also a 12 year old battery pack. So 20% degradation over 12 years. The odometer, so this is the odometer on the battery pack. Um, I know I've got 150,000 miles on the car. It would be interesting to see what happens swapping battery packs and cars. <laughs> and then the other thing, uh, BMB1. So this is the battery management board of module one. So this is just like when I had that little single device, I could just plug into one module but instead of just reading one, it'll read all 16 of these. Uh, the high, the low, the voltage. Now, the problem I had was in uh, module number 10. And if I look at this here, 
hey, looking pretty good. We got one millivolt difference from the highest to lowest section of this battery. So it looks like a heck of a lot better than when I got that error. Another cool feature of the Tesla Pack Monitor is that when you plug it in, it's going to automatically generate a report. And if you have this connect up to your phone, it's going to automatically save that report for you in the phone. And you get all the information that you saw on the display screen, everything from uh, the serial number to capacity, all the voltages, all that information is in there. And you have that to uh, look at later. Maybe you're going to compare uh, multiple packs to each other um, but all the information is saved and available for you later you can even uh, make a printout of it and uh, carry that around the junkyard with you now I did get this unit on loan to me I was told it's not the final final version so there might still be a few little tweaks before they start selling these uh, but still I thought it was a great little piece of equipment um, if you work with a lot of Teslas, if you're repairing your own pack, if you're going to junkyards to find a good healthy pack that you're going to use for uh, your own conversion, for example, a uh, pretty neat piece of equipment so that you can just look at the pack itself without needing a car, without having to take the battery pack apart. Uh, that's exactly what it's designed for. And in my case, I was really just checking my own work on this particular pack, and I feel a lot more confident now that I can take a look at it and see that everything's working exactly the way that I was hoping it would be. So that's it for today, and until next time, stay charged up.